everyone. I don't know about you, but it seems like this month has passed super fast. So we are ready for another market update uh, for the greater Asheville area. Remember, we are talking about the statistics that are a month behind. That's how we get the statistics. So we are looking at August stats. So let me share our screen. Okay, on my blog, I'm going to be talking about <clears throat> this article and, and relating, uh, have a link to it as well. But we're going to start a little backwards uh, on our usual way. Fannie Mae uh, wrote an article, um, now Inman had an article from Fannie Mae that talked about Fannie Mae thinks that the sales will, of houses will drop uh, over the next few quarters. And if you look, uh, their prediction is that uh, we will drop, you know, next year at quarter four at the end of the year will be down. And new home sales and existing sales will drop. Now, the reason they say that it, they will drop is because there's a short inventory, building new homes just can't build any faster than what they are. It's not gonna match the need and existing homes that's out there have already been put on the market. There's not anything else really left out there either. So they think that what's gonna happen as this continues, the shortage continues, the price uh, is going to continue to go up and it's just going to price people out of the market. They're just going to be frustrated and, and not even consider buying. So we'll see. So I wanted to see if that is true for us in our area. Is that the trend that we're seeing? And I always like to take a special interest uh, for some statistics. Uh, so a special focus. And we're going to look at Mitchell County. Now that is in our greater Asheville area. And Mitchell County, for those of you that do not know, uh, has two main cities, Bakersville and uh, Spruce Pine. So Bakersville is about 50 miles northeast of Asheville and 25 miles southeast of Johnson. So it could be a good place uh, for people who are from Tennessee wanting to move closer in to North Carolina. It could be a good place for some investors maybe looking on that end. But let's see what's going on. So uh, because this is a special interest focus group area, I'm doing year to year. So new listings, in August of 2020, they had 37. They went down to 25. That's a 32% decline. Their pendings uh, were 24 as compared to 31. That's a 23% decline. Their closings also dropped by 14%. Now here, look at this. This is where the trend that follows our trend of what the national stats are saying. And this is a significant trend. This is a small county as far as population is concerned. So the medium home price last year was 216. It jumped up to 305 this year. That's 41% increase. That is a huge increase especially for as few of homes are out there. Let's keep looking a little bit more. The average home price was 249, uh, jumped to 338, and that's a 36 in, uh, percent increase. We are getting, I mean, we're over in these numbers. That's a huge increase. Days on the market went from 123 to 69. And the month supply in this county went from 6.1 to 2.8. 
huge difference. So the houses that they had in this area were bought and uh, the prices increased and the inventory has decreased. So you sort of wonder who's buying in this area because again, uh, this is a very small, Bakersfield is small. Uh, this is an artist city, uh, town. A lot of artists do go up there and uh, Sp Spruce Pine is just a small uh, Appalachian community. So who's buying? That would be interesting to see, but obviously somebody's buying and it's probably not the local people because that's really pricing out a lot of the locals. But if you compare it to other areas uh, in Buncombe County, Henderson County, these prices seem good. And if you're coming from somewhere out west or New York or some city, these prices are fantastic. So let's do, let's go back and go to the top to our Asheville region. Remember that includes all of our uh, 16 counties and see what happened from last month to this month. In August, we're seeing a decrease of new listings throughout all of the counties. A slight increase, not much at all uh, for pendings. The closings, we saw a decrease. An increase to medium home price, 352. The average for 41. This is uh, significant again. Days on the market, uh, they just keep declining. Uh, so houses that come on the market are being bought faster and faster and go under closed. Uh, inventory supply for the entire Asheville region stayed steady at 1.7. Remember, when we're talking about inventory, that's the uh, months of supply is the number of houses currently for sale divided by the average number of homes sold per month. So <clears throat> we're seeing a similar trend with a little bit of a slowdown and an increase in price. So let's check out Asheville City. As you know, if you've been following uh, this uh, monthly update, Asheville City is our priciest area in uh, Asheville Region, Buncombe County. So our new listings, we dropped to 251 from 293. Not a huge drop, but it is a drop. Our pendings uh, increased a little bit, not significantly, pretty uh, even on that. Our close, again, pretty even where we were last month. Our medium home price increased to $440,000. That is uh, the medium home price in Asheville City. And that's, that's an increase, uh, not as high as it was in June, but it's climbed back up. And our... Um, our average, you look across the board at 538,000 climbed, uh, that's the highest we've been. Days on the market continue to decline. Uh, the, once they're there, they sell really super fast and our inventory is declining. So again, we're seeing that trend, that national trend here in our area. Hendersonville, uh, we are seeing a decline of new listings and pendings and closings. Hendersonville did not have as much inventory or as fast of a build, so we would expecting this decline. Uh, the medium home price stayed at 350,000 and the average home price just creeped up a little bit to 403. Days on the market, uh, 31 days, not a big difference. And our uh, monthly supply changed to stay the same at 1.5. So we are seeing in our area what is showing up nationally. Inventory is incredibly tight. Uh, prices continue to climb. It, it 
it's just, you know, when will the prices be too high for people to buy? And that just really means who is coming from where to buy in our area. Uh, because if there's still more people coming from areas where, you know, the average home price is in the sevens, this is seeming pretty good. It is definitely making it very difficult for uh, new homeowners, first time homeowners. However, uh, we are seeing an increase in some online for condo developments, which would make a difference with uh, some of the uh, affordable housing. So the takeaway is if you've got something to sell, sell it now, sell it now. Uh, get it sold before the end of the year because we are expecting houses to have a little bit of a decline, the sales of houses to have a decline in uh, 2022. If you need to buy, if you're like, you really are wanting a house and you need to buy and you're in our average three to 500, go ahead and buy. There's nothing's going to come up in that range anytime sooner, I don't think. I think, you know, it's just going to continue to climb. If your price range is in the sevens and up, uh, you know, things may change for you in what you can get uh, next year in 2022. So, uh, but anything that's on the market now that you like is not going to be there in 2022. So if you like it, buy it. And if you have any more questions, be sure to, the best way to get in touch with me right now due to volume is to actually sign on to the website at lovethegreen.org and message me through my own website. All right. Have a great evening.